What is up? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to the Ableton Live video tutorial. And today is on output latency, setting it up and making it as small as possible. First thing we're going to do is come over to Options, Preferences, go to Audio. And Audio Device should already be set up for you. Uh, if it's not, you know, go to the manual. But uh, you pretty much just select the audio card you're using. And uh, generally, you want to keep the audio card for input and output the same. Um, next thing you want to do is sample rate. This is how, this is the sample rate in which that live will record sounds. So either you got a mic in or if you are got a new track and you're recording from a different track, this is the sample rate at which it will record. So it's a good idea to have that pretty high if you have the disk space. And uh, default pitch conversion, you want that high quality. Again, if your computer can handle it. Next thing you want to do is set up your output buffer size. Come on, click on it and drag it all the way down to the lowest value, which is 256 samples. Next thing you want to do is come over to the test, turn the test volume, tone volume down. You can leave the frequency at 440. Turn the CPU usage simulator up to 80%, which is high as it will let you go. Then turn the test tone on. And you hear that crackling? That's supposed to be a nice even tone. So what I'm going to do is drag this up with the tone on until there are no more artifacts in the sound. And uh, you can, once it's highlighted, you can use the up and down arrows to, to nudge it along if you don't want to use the mouse to click and drag up and down. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and uh, you go ahead and follow along. Better. Getting better. And let it play for a second just to make sure. And yep, 736 is what's doing it for me. Uh, and that's a little bit higher on my system, but when I have the screen recording software running, it, uh, it kind of changes that a little bit. But anyway. That's how I set up my output buffer size, okay? Um, I would show you the input buffer size, but I don't have a great um, microphone or anything like that. But you essentially do it the same way. You turn it all the way down, you arm this track on record, and then if you hear artifacts, just pull up the sample rate until it goes away. Um, a cool thing about live is if you come to help, help view sets this up, and you see this lessons, um, you don't see it right here, but if you go to show all built-in lessons, and then you come down, setting up ins and outs. That's what, that's what I just showed you. So if you come in there, boom, you can go ahead and run through that. Um, once you're done with the ins and outs, you want to come over to, um, excuse me, you want to come over to driver error compensation. And then if you haven't set up your MIDI, go to MIDI. But Live has a lot of useful text inside of here, and it will walk you through while your set is open. Anyway, I hope that helps you guys. We'll see you next time.